This is your Hurricane Tracker video update for July 18th of 2011. Well, we're tracking two storms this morning. We have Tropical Storm Brett here in the Atlantic east of Florida and newly formed Tropical Depression 4 south of Guatemala in the eastern Pacific Basin. And let's first start uh, by taking a look at Brett this morning. As you can tell from the satellite imagery, uh, Brett is a fairly disorganized system, also a very small system. And uh, there's a lot of dry air on the northwest side of the storm, which is being drawn in by the circulation. And this dry air will hinder the organization and the peak intensity of Brett. Right now, the Hurricane Center is forecasting Brett to peak at 65 miles an hour. So Brett should stay a tropical storm as it uh, begins to move away here uh, from the United States coast. And right now, as of this recording, Brett is moving very slowly to the east at three miles an hour. We do expect Tropical Storm Brett to begin moving faster and to the north-northeast by later today. Tropical storm warnings are in effect for the northern Bahamas. They should be lifted by later today as the storm begins to push a little bit further away from the Bahamas. And as of now, there's only a five to 10% chance of tropical storm force winds reaching the North Carolina coastline. Of course, tropical cyclones sometimes have a mind of their own, and if the forecast changes, we'll definitely keep you quickly up to date. The computer models are in great agreement as to the future track of Tropical Storm Brett. Each colored line here represents a different computer model. The majority of these uh, models do lie within the cone of uncertainty that's put out by the National Hurricane Center and the majority of them do show a general north-northeast to northeast movement away from the United States coastline. Now one model wants to bring the storm into southwestern North Carolina and another wants to push it west towards Florida. These two particular models are um, not very reliable so we don't really put much faith in them and so chances are very good that Brett will begin to move to the northeast later today or definitely by tomorrow and begin to push away from the United States. So what's keeping Brett away from the United States? Well, here's the setup, some basic uh, Tropical Cyclone 101 per se. We have a massive ridge of high pressure over the central United States. And if you live in the central or eastern US, this is what's been making the weather so warm lately. However, this ridge will also serve to protect the eastern United States and block any westward movement. Think of this high pressure as a very strong brick wall. There's also a weaker high pressure ridge to the east of Brett, which is forecasted to strengthen and the clockwise flow around the high pressure will help steer Brett to the northeast away from the United States. Finally, there's a trough of high pressure, excuse me, a trough of low pressure to the north of the high pressure ridges. And think of a trough of, of low pressure as a gate and uh, usually tropical cyclones like to steer towards troughs of low pressure. So this gate will be the opening between the two ridges which will help steer it northeast out into the open Atlantic. And finally today we have newly formed Tropical Depression 4 in the Eastern Pacific Basin. Of course it just developed so it's still disorganized but it is forecasted to strengthen into the fourth consecutive hurricane of the Eastern Pacific season. Now, will the storm affect uh, Mexico? Only time will tell, but right now the official forecast does keep uh, future Tropical Storm Dora off of the Mexican coastline and generally move it west-northwest parallel to the coastline. The computer models are in good agreement for the first three or four days. After that, a couple of computer models want to bend it to the north towards the coast, while uh, four others want to keep it on a general west-northwest track. But by Thursday, we could be looking at a Category 3 hurricane, a major hurricane, just a couple of hundred miles off of the coast. So if you live on the southwestern Mexican coast, please pay close attention because uh, a lot of times tracks this far out can change by several hundred miles. And again, just a couple hundred mile difference could put the storm on shore. So if the track changes, definitely with uh, this new tropical depression, or with Brett, we'll be back with another video update to keep you quickly updated. Thanks so much for being a Hurricane Tracker customer and for watching. Have a great week, everybody.